Hey Google, turn off Smart Socket 2. Got it. Turning off Smart Socket 2. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 2. Okay, turning on Smart Socket 2. Yes, good morning guys. I just got my smart plug. This one, smart plug. Look at that. That is a smart plug. Uh, this is a easy easy leave. Easy life or easy leave. <laughs> so, that is the manufacturer I guess. Easy leave or the model. Easy life. And it's a smart it's plug. I ordered it from uh, Amazon. Smart plug. Uh, it is compatible with uh, uh, Amazon Alexa and uh, Google Assistant. It will work with uh, those uh, uh, services. Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. It's cool. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, switch on switch off devices plug from this uh, socket uh, by uh, using your mobile you can switch on switch off from your mobile using your mobile you just download the apps and then uh, you can control the device from here you can switch on switch off you can also set the timer as well uh, at which time you want the device to to be switched on and then which time you want the device to be switched off so it can be used for uh, heating or uh, but you have to uh, install it uh, with uh, some kind of a uh, uh, contactor because this one is capable of driving up to 16 amps load only 16 amps load so if you have, uh, if you will uh, uh, drive this one, if your load is more than 16 amps, 220 volt, 16 amps, you will have, uh, you will need a contactor or a relay with a higher capacity. Let me know if you want to know how to configure a contactor so it can drive uh, a higher load. I will also make a video if you'd like. And then, yeah. We'll just go through with the configuration and uh, hopefully it will work. It's actually cheap. Before it was very expensive, these types of devices. Now the price went down. So uh, now I, I am thinking of uh, taking advantage of this uh, opportunity. <laughs> so my phone is ready. My smart socket is ready. And I will download now the application. It's a very simple uh, steps to uh, be able to control this device from your smart mobile. You just first search, search, uh, you open the, what you call it? I'm sorry, I'm not that much. Uh, okay, smart life. You just search for, open your, uh, Open your uh, Play Store. Open your Play Store. Oh, wait a minute. Open your Play Store. That one, Play Store. And then try to search, uh, download Smart, Smart Life. Okay, Smart Life. The life is smart. You can be smart. <laughs> See, smart life, smart life, the first one, it's having some uh, uh, house uh, screen, uh, smart life, select that one, smart life living, this one, smart life living, the first one, see that, yes, 
This camera is really, really nice. You can focus really well. Okay, now this is the Smart Life. Just download that one and install. Install like that. Install. Continue. Continue. And skip. Skip some credit. I don't have any credit card. <laughs> I don't want to leave my any credit card information on my phone. That's how I operate. I don't like leaving any account on my phone. Any account number. So now it's downloading. See? Okay. This is the way to I'm sorry, I'm doing like this because I don't like editing. <laughs> we'll do it like this, like a rock. Okay, okay. So it's now downloading almost completed. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Correct, yes. Now it is installing. Just wait for a while, it will go. Now it's installing. Now it's completed. Open. You just have to open. Open it. Open. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Users agreement and privacy policy. Just agree. You don't have a choice. <laughs> now you have to create your own uh, account for this app. For this uh, Smart Life app, you have to create an account. See, you have to create an account. Then we will create sign up. Press sign up. Okay. So I will choose. Uh, I'm here in uh, United Arab Emirates. Okay. Email. I will put in my email. I will put in my email. Okay, I will cover my email and then <laughs> get verification code. Okay, get verification code. Open your email. You have to open your email to get that verification code. They sent you the verification code on your email. Make sure you know the password of your email. Sometimes you don't know what is the password of your email, then you cannot get the verification code. Okay, I got the verification code. Okay, I will type in the verification code. Oh, oh, oh. I will type in the verification code. Two, six. Okay, now he's asking you to set the password. He's asking you to set the password. We will set the password. Okay. Set the password. I'm setting the password now. So I set the password. Yes, very easy. Set the password. See? Yes, done. Hopefully, I will not forget my <laughs> password. <laughs> And then just uh, some something like uh, data analysis, personalization. Just uh, go to the apps. Go to apps. And that's it. Now he's asking you to add the device. Add the device. See. Add the device. Add the device. Got it. Just got it. And then you will add the device. But first, you just have to plug this one to an outlet, so to a socket, on the wall socket. And this one, and this one should be blinking. This one should be blinking, uh, like every two seconds. Plop, 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 uh, plop, plop. 
like that it should be blinking this one if it's not blinking press this uh, uh, for six seconds long press for six seconds then it should blink it should blink uh, it should blink uh, twice per one second So now we will go to the socket and then we will try to insert this one. Make sure and take a note, make sure that you're connected to your Wi-Fi, to your specific Wi-Fi to which we which you want to connect. If sample you have several Wi-Fi uh, access to your uh, net uh, to your house, make sure uh, this will connect to that Wi-Fi uh, network. To, to for example to which network for example Wi-Fi network 1 or Wi-Fi network 2 you will connect this one make sure you you, you will connect your <coughs> phone to that the same network Wi-Fi 2 Wi-Fi 3 whatever the name of your Wi-Fi is and that's it so I'll just check I have several Wi-Fi uh, at home so I don't like that. It should be 2.4G, not 5G. This is compatible 2.4G, not 5G. It's an old uh, model. I don't know why. They, because 2.4 you can reach uh, at a distance. 2.5 it's fast. Uh, to, uh, 5G it's fast, but uh, it's not able to penetrate that much. Like uh, the distance, the coverage is less. It's fast, but the coverage is less, and it can't penetrate wall. So. It's up to you. So for this one, the, 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 the compatibility, compatible, it's compatible to 2.4G, this one. So you'll have to select the Wi-Fi with a 2.4G. Most, most of the Wi-Fi is 2.4G. The advanced one is having 5G. That's why you can see two network, uh, two Wi-Fi name on your uh, network, on your Wi-Fi. Uh, Network actually, if you will have a, a, a router which is having an advanced uh, advanced capability. So ta -ta -ta -ta. connect to that Wi-Fi. So from your <laughs> from your. Okay, you know how to connect the Wi-Fi, of course. Connection. Okay. Select the Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi 5G. I don't like that 5G. I need that. I need that simple one. Okay, I connected now to my home Wi-Fi 2.4G. I'm now connected. Connected to that one, the Lima. That is a 2.4G speed uh, Wi-Fi network. So now I'm going to open the application again. That Smart Life. You no, know? Smart Life is open. Smart Life. Smart Life now is open. See? Okay. Now I'll have to uh, insert this one in a in a wall socket in the wall socket. So now I have plugged in my smart life plug. So you can see it's not flashing. See that one? It's not flashing. It has to be flashing twice uh, in every seconds. Okay, we'll press it like six seconds. Long press for five, six seconds. Six. Okay, you can see it. You can hear it like uh, there is a relay inside, like it'll will tick so now it's flashing purple what is that purple purple and red see like this okay now you have to go back to your smartphone so this one is ready for connection right now to be uh, it will be recognized by your phone so location 
So you have to click the location, location, and then allow, allow only while using app, like that, allow. And then uh, microphone, also allow everything. See, permission, this one, this is the, you have to allow this one. Permission in apps info. You have permission, and then uh, location, you have to allow. Uh, microphone as well because you'll be giving I don't know voice command allow mm. no it's not voice command and then camera also but uh, it's not advisable only location you just have to give uh, permission okay then exit I mean not exit go back then it should be it's now searching it's now searching still able to find turn on bluetooth i have to turn on bluetooth yeah i'm switching i switch the bluetooth now Let's see i switch on the bluetooth now bluetooth switch on should come up now still not coming up it stopped flashing actually the this one the the socket we'll have to reset it see the socket it stopped flashing <laughs> Again, I have to. Uh, my phone not able to to detect the socket, so we'll have to press this one. Six seconds. One, two, three, four, six. See. Mm, that's what we want. Flashing. Purple and red flashing. Yeah. Uh, like twice every second. So again, we'll have to go to the mobile. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, when I open the the ma, the application, the Smart Life application, it automatically detect the 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 device, the socket, the smart socket. But uh, you just have to turn on the Bluetooth also. You just have to turn on the Bluetooth, and uh, it has to be connected to your Wi-Fi, the the phone, and that's it. And then you will just click add. This is the one discovering devices. One device discovered this one. So you just have to click add and then input the password of your Wi Fi. Input the password. It will be stored on your device. This password will be stored in your device. So every time it will be switch, uh, it will be plug in. It will automatically, automatically connect to your Wi Fi with that password if you update the password of your Wi-Fi then you'll have to update the password inside of this device also or you have to uh, reconfigure it again that's the idea so don't keep changing your Wi-Fi password you can make it hidden so that other people cannot access but <laughs> okay now I got the smart the smart socket this is the smart socket now. Okay, check. Uh, check. See? Next. Next. Successful. Okay, successfully added. Added successfully. Yes. yes. Done. Okay. Okay, it's uh, doing like this. It's done now. Yeah. And then, what is the status? Okay. Uh -huh. Now I switch on the, I switch on the, the, 
Christmas light, switch off, switch on. Mm -hmm. Switch off. See, I'm switching on, switching off from here. The Christmas light will go on and off. See, on, off, on, off, <laughs> on. I, I uh, plug in my Christmas light in that uh, socket. See, I switch on, off, on. Oh, where is it? It's complaining now. I will switch on again. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Now we'll go to the next level. We'll go to. Uh, we'll add this one to our Google Home. Google Home. Thanks. Okay. Uh, now we try the, to control the the socket using our. Google Assistant or Google Home. I already link the Smart Life application to my Google Home. It's easy to link actually. It will display once you open the Google Home. Once you open the Google Home. This is the Google Home. Once you open the Google Home, you just link that uh, application, Smart Life application to your Google Home and it will detect the devices uh, inside that uh, Smart Life. So, see, you can see the socket 2. This is the one. I rename it to socket 2. Uh, this one, socket 2. I rename it to socket 2. Uh, smart socket 2. And I'll, I'm now able to control the, the, the same thing. Instead of controlling the socket from my Smart Life application, uh, I'm controlling it from uh, Google Home. See? This is Google Home. I switch on. This is the one. See the light there. See? See the light. It should switch on and off. Okay. It should switch on and off. Off. On. Off. On. I'm controlling it from my Google Home. Now we'll try to control it using... I already set up my Google Assistant. Uh, I already set up my Google Assistant and uh, by just saying hey Google now he's she's waiting for my uh, command okay. I found these results I uh, see she's replying hey Google how are you for me <laughs> yes Hey Google, how are you? I'm fine. You're very kind to ask, especially in these tempestuous times. Hey Google, turn off Smart Socket 2. Got it. Turning off Smart Socket 2. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 2. Okay, turning on Smart Socket 2. Hey Google, turn off Smart Socket 2. Got it. Turning off Smart Socket 2. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 2. Alright, turning on Smart Socket 2. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. That's how you will able to control the phone using Google Assistant. Yes. Uh, let me know if you want to uh, know how to link the Smart Life application to your Google Home Assistant. <laughs> I will uh, make a separate video for that one. I have to uh, erase my uh, configuration so I can uh, I can set up, I can set up a new one to show you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, please uh, subscribe. Please subscribe here. I don't know how to put it. Please subscribe here and hit the notification bell so uh, you'll be able to uh, know or you'll be notified once uh, you have new videos when once I have new videos uploaded. <sighs> Thank you. Okay to continue. <laughs> okay.
I have, I still have six uh, devices, smart socket devices here. I will have to continue uh, configuring this. After this one, I'll, I'm preparing this for my uh, farm at home in Philippines. So uh, I can use this one uh, there. Uh, I'll be using it to switch on, switch off light automatically, switch on the brooder light, switch on uh, for automation, like home automation. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it will be uh, a good uh, investment to my phone. See, three of it. And I'll be able to control it from here also. I can switch on and switch off as required from a distance. I'm here in UAA, Dubai. And I'll be controlling it in Philippines. Yeah. Okay, now I switch on uh, for 6 seconds, it is flashing now, this is the second socket. Now I'll try to add it on my application. So I'll open Smart Life application again, and then uh, this, is my second, uh, this is my second socket. Okay, the other one is uh, the sec. Actually, the name of the, the other one is Socket uh, Smart Socket Two. Uh, this will be Smart Socket Three. <laughs> okay, but this is the second socket I am configuring now. So, uh, okay. Ah, it already detected. See, it's already detected. <coughs> A socket has been detected. Device to be added one. So we'll just click Add. And then password, password just written there. Or your Wi-Fi password. Next, <coughs> and it will add up. <laughs> hmm. it. So wait it. Wait for a while. It will come. Okay, now it got added. Added now, yes, nice. And then next, just press next. Next, okay. The name is Smart Socket 3. Smart Socket 3. This is the second one. The first one I did is the practice, actually. That's why it's renaming like this. Okay, Smart Socket 3 done. Okay, now on, oh, okay, see, switch off, switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off, and how about Google Assistant, switch on, and then Smart Socket 3, okay, Smart Socket, Smart Socket 3, okay, we'll go to the Google Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 3. Got it. Turning on Smart Socket 3. Ah. Google, turn off Smart Socket 3. Turn on, turn off. Google, uh, hey Google, turn off Smart Socket 3. Sure. Turning Smart Socket 3 off. Good, it works. Again. Uh, go hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 3. Okay, turning on Smart Socket 3. Hey Google, turn off Smart Socket 3. Got it, turning off Smart Socket 3. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 3. Alright, turning Smart Socket 3 on. Sometimes my diction or what is it, what you call it, my uh, accent affecting the Google Assistant. So be patient. <laughs> now we're going to uh, configure the remaining two. Uh, the same procedure. I will not show it. Yeah, the same procedure. Yeah. Thing to note. Uh, this is an unconfigured socket. If you switch on, it will go like this. 
it's like purple because actually it's blue flashing like that it's blue flashing if you switch on this is the unconfigured one you can still control it I like a switch normal switch but uh, see switch on switch off switch on anyway hmm. So this is the unconfigured it should be flashing it is this is ready for uh, configuration now we will go to the smart uh, smartphone our, our phone configure this one so again we will have to open the uh, smart life app same procedure smart life app open and it will detect that one The other one. It should detect, see, it's detecting already. That's how fast it is. It's detecting. I, I, this one got offline because I remove it. I have only one sing, single socket. Add it. Then the password's already written there. Okay, now it's adding the same procedure. this you just have to wait oh my third smart socket it's already configured see check mark is there and it's asking you to go next 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 okay done 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 okay now your uh, Christmas light is off. We will switch on. Yes, switch off, switch on, switch off. You can actually hear the switch, uh, the relay inside that uh, <laughs> socket switching on and off. See, tick, tick. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, <clears throat> what is the name of this one? <clears throat> Smart Socket 4. This is Smart Socket 4. Okay, Smart Socket 4. <coughs> smart Socket 4. <clears throat> okay. Try Google Assistant. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 4. Got it. Turning Smart Socket 4 on. Yes. Hey Google, turn off Smart Socket 4. Sure. Turning yes. off Smart Socket 4. Google, turn on Smart Socket 4. Uh, you have to tell, hey Google. <laughs> <laughs> hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 4. Sure. Mm. Turning on Smart Socket 4. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Google. It's not recognizing. It was a, hey Google, thank you. I'm on it to serve. <laughs> uh, this is the last uh, socket. See red. You have to press that one. Long press. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. And leave it. See, it's flashing. That one, that flashing. We require that flashing. It means waiting for configuration. Okay, we will go to the smartphone and then we will configure this one. We will uh, add it to our uh, uh, device, smart cell phone device. I open my smart uh, smart life app. Smart life app. So now I have to add. It's not detecting. How oh, come? Okay, now it detected. See that one? Hey, you were the detecting. We have to to put add. We have to select add, and then sort. Okay, next. Good, good, good. It's adding up. Okay. 
nga. Add it completely now. Uh, next. Oh, okay. Next, next, then done. This one. Done. Successful. Add it. Now you can switch on. Okay, go back. I have three offline, one online. Okay, smart for a uh, smart socket five is online. Okay, I have to go here and then off. Off. On. Off. Now it's on. Off. On. Off. On. Off. Okay. Then I'll go test our uh, Google Assistant. Socket 5. What is this? The name of this one? Socket 5. Smart Socket 5. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 5. 5. Alright, turning Smart Socket 5 off. Hey Google, turn on Smart Socket 5. Alright, turning Smart Socket 5 off. That's it, complete. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like this video, again, please hit the subscription button and uh, hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be notified if ever I have a new upload. Thank you. And good morning, good evening, good afternoon.